Good afternoon, everybody. This is Francesco Abrazzino with the Venice Scoop Network, bringing you the latest news for Venice, Northport, Inglewood, and basically the South County of Sarasota. Sorry for my attire today. I just got back from a, a surf session, freezing my butt off, and I was like, hey, I forgot to do my newscast, so let me go ahead and knock it out. Okay, let's start it off by recognizing the sponsor of this program, uh, YardCorps.com. They can be reached at 941-445-3027 or info at YardCorps.com. They do yard care and um, everybody's certified American workers and they specialize in um, uh, maintenance and deed restricted communities and residential lawns. So, YardCorps.com. Give them a call. Um, it does say something about aquatic when you call them, so don't be alarmed. And ask them about their one month free on a 12 month agreement. YardCorps.com. All right. This is the news that came out since the last broadcast. Um, basically, they talked about South County. It closed down officially last night. Chief McNulty said they're not really doing anything until they see what the impact is, if there is an impact. Basically, what happens now is VPD and Northport PD has, have to drive their prisoners up to Sarasota um, because the South County Annex will no longer be open. It saves the sheriffs in the county about a million dollars. And, you know, I think the city obviously will incur some costs with driving up there. Um, you know, basically, though, there's only about three or four maybe two three arrests a day it seems like in the venice area same with northport tends to have a little bit more so i'm not sure of how much of an impact it will have on them so we'll be see he's gonna take a few months analyze it handle the calls and see what happens with it uh this next article as you can see it says google chrome okay the judge dismissed a complaint over the proposed venice swell this is the one that um, basically the Gondo's uh, editor or publisher came out against because it's in his own backyard. And I had some, um, you know, I thought, hey, guy, you know, you're in a high power position. You're the owner of the Gondo. Why don't you speak up on numerous issues and, until it impacts your wonderful view of the golf? Um, I haven't done enough research on the swell info. It does seem like the city is rushing into it. Um, I do have some concerns that they're going to leave the bacteria up and hope the heat from the sun eats it up. I'm not sure that's the best solution, and I'm not sure they went through a process to make sure that was the best solution. Basically, they're going to dig a 2- to 3-foot deep, 16- um, to 40-foot wide hole into the ground for about two blocks along the beach from Granada Avenue all the way down to Alhambra. And the water will sit there. You know, first thing I think is, is it sits there, is it going to stink? Somehow the bacteria is going to sit there and the sun's going to eat it up and I'm not sure of the whole process. So um, that's that on the swell. Um, they try to fight it. It looks like the city is going to move forward on it. The supervisor of elections invites scholarship applicants. That's right. The county supervisor Kathy Dent is accepting applications for scholarship awards to the 2014 Florida State Association of Supervisor of Elections. The award three, they award three $1,200 scholarships to uh, universities out there. So if you want more information, um, give them a call at 861-8606. Good things happening out there at Supervisor Elections. This is an accident yesterday. This uh, was over by Lowe's, as you guys can see, um, from Jack Doyle. And um, the person had to be extra, extra, extricated, I forget the word, from the car. And uh, Jack was on the scene to take those pictures. Again, drive slow. Be careful. I think after this incident, um, just around the corner from there at Elbertson's, I think somebody got hit on a bicycle by a car. So the moral of it is drive careful. The roads are really congested. The snowbirds are back in town. Be safe. Um, this next email came out from Chief McNulty, and it's regarding an um, incident at the City Hall parking lot. And there was an attempted vehicle robbery at the City Hall. I'm not sure why they would do it there. Uh, but Chief McNulty broke down the process that they went through and they busted the guy. Um, it, says, it says he was attempting to break the front passenger's window of a city vehicle by pounding forcefully with his fist on the glass. 
I don't know, try a crowbar or something, I don't know. When the subject noticed uh, officer approaching him, he stopped pounding and stood next to the Jeep in a nonchalant manner. <laughs> Sorry, this story makes me laugh. All right, well, that's on the Venice Scoop. Go ahead and read it. Uh, that was posted yesterday. Um, flag stolen. This happened out of Venice or Inglewood, and this, they were stolen from a church's, ve church's veterans memorial. Who would do that? Who would steal flags from a veterans memorial? Um, local ministers say the thief only disrespected his church, but the United States military, and they did it on Christmas Day. So, um, if you know anything about this situation, contact the uh, authorities. And let's see, the next story was the Hermitage to Add Land to Artist Retreat. The Her Hermitage Artist Retreat, I just posted this today, um, which for a decade has nature nurtured the talents of hundreds of poets, painters, composers, and other artists will soon nearly double its property size. That's right. This is over by Blind Pass Beach on Minnesota Key. And um, the, the county, that's that piece of property. The county is um, expected to close a deal on January 16th to purchase that house and the parcel of land for $2.3 million. Shelby Webb put that out. This is actually a story that I put out a while ago, wondering why... Um, the county needs to purchase this land for 2.3 million just to get the small access to the beach. To me, it didn't make sense. To me, it still doesn't make sense. And uh, that article is there. And Shelby Webb did a good job writing up something. This story is on Northport. A girl, she said that she was forcibly held down in Northport, and it was around 11:30. She's younger than 18. Um, the whole investigation went forward, and then late in the day yesterday, she recanted the whole story. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure of her issues. You know, someone at le under 18 walking the streets at 11:30, and then coming up with a story like that. I'm so sure there's some underlying issue there. Um, hopefully, hopefully she can get some help. All right, this is a Help Us Get a Leadership Conference. The This is a group of 6th, 7th, and 8th graders who are involved in a middle school student government. And they work hard. Outstanding leaders not only. Uh, let's see, what's this say? We are in the area that hit especially hard the economic downturns. Many of the, ter many of the students are from blue-collar families. Many of the parents have lost their jobs and struggling just to keep a roof over their heads. And these Northport kids are trying to raise uh, money so that they can go on this leadership conference and their information is here at gofundme.com 5LWDDW that's it for the uh, news today but over here we got John Scalzi telling us something that we all know by now it's 58 I tell you what I was in the water at for Dawn Patrol round 7 this morning it was freezing had gloves booties wetsuit on um, it's gotten a lot better when I was out there just now. I was just in a wetsuit, um, but it is cold out there, and it's going to get down to 41 tonight, high 75 on Saturday. The well, front's coming through again on Sunday, Monday, and it's going to drop our temperatures down again on Tuesdays. So um, beware out there. Small, uh, small craft should exercise caution. Uh, right now it's a uh, low tide or high tide, and the tide's going back out. And there's a small swell out there, two to four foot, and it's a moderate chop. All right. We're just cruising along here today, folks. Venice High School basketball had a great time on their Orlando trip. Uh, they play at home tonight at 730 against Palmetto Ridge in the Battle of the Beach. Um, so check them out, and there's a couple pictures of the basketball team. So if you can get out there to the TP and support the uh, boys' basketball team, that'd be great. The Venice High baseball team will make a return trip to the USA Baseball National High School Invitational. The Indians, who finished third last year, will play the 16-team event March 26th to the 29th. And it just goes, there's more information on it. You can see the story at thevenicescoop.com. Uh, let's see, and this one basically covers the uh, 15 teams duel Friday and Saturday at Southeast. This is on basketball. And who's I? Venice, Lemon Bay, Poor Charlotte, Countryside, and who else? Lemon Bay, I think, is in there. A bunch of different teams. Oh, wrestling. Wrestling. I'm sorry. Not basketball. Wrestling. So check that out if you can. That's at thevenicescoop.com. And that's your news for today. 
Okay, so that's basically your news for today. Remember sponsors. I'm looking for sponsors. And um, it's going to be for this new concept. Uh, I was hoping for next week. I guess I'm still working through some issues and that I want to make sure are in place. Um, it's going to basically be a talk show. We'll cover news. People can call in. They can um, talk and discuss the issue. Or they can uh, call up like Minnie Will and just tell me how much of a jerk I am. Um, it should be interesting. And um, I think it will give Venice more of a talk show feel. With something we don't have in this area. Venice, North Port, Inglewood. And um, I think it should work out good. I am looking for sponsors so that we can do that and continue to upgrade it so it's better. Um, right now I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate um website pictures into the with software I have so that's my delay um, but for that after that it should be good so if you're interested give me a call or email me at fabrazino at yahoo.com and that's it so for Francesco Abruzzino and the Venice Scoop ciao tutti